There's nothing surreptitious about it. It's an open agenda of the BJP. And those of us who are opposed to it should be able to go to the people to oppose it. There's one thing BJP always does. Wherever you have had BJP government, Home Ministry, Education Ministry and INB, these are always controlled directly by people very close to RSS. This is the very, the very core of BJP RSS ideology. If they come to power, that's what they will do. So instead of saying, oh my God, why are they doing it? I think we should go to the people and say, this is what it will do to the country. Yes, there is no doubt. There is clearly an agenda of saffronization, an agenda of controlling all these critical educational, cultural institutions and putting people who are convenient, ideologically convenient there. This has happened in a number of institutions so far. There is the NCERT, uh, this has happened in Sahitya Academies, this has happened in the Film Censor Board, this has happened in the FTII, and the latest example is the Teen Murti, Nehru Memorial Museum and Library. Uh, so yes, there is clearly an agenda of saffronization. More than saffronization, I keep saying there's also a degradation. The difference between Congress and the BJP is Congress also brought people who were very convenient to the party. That's, that there be no bones about it. The only difference is that Congress managed to get people who were either first rate or at least second rate in the discipline that they were doing. Uh, BJP's tragedy in a sense is that it cannot find any first rung or second rung intellectual of this country to be seen to be associated with this party and this kind of a regime. So they bring in people who are third rate or worse. So what is happening in FTII, for example, is not so much saffronization. It is actually just degradation of the institutions. This is what needs to be objected to. Uh, on autonomy, again, it must be recognized that the record of Congress government increasingly on autonomy was very, very poor. Congress did much to take away autonomy of many institutions, NCRT, UGC, IIMs, IITs. So Congress cannot really complain about autonomy being taken away. Uh, the trouble with this government is that Congress used slightly sophisticated mechanisms for bringing down the autonomy of the institution. And this government, because they cannot even spell the word autonomy, they are using the most crude ways of doing it. So, in other words, those who really are opposed to it, and I do think that those who believe in the idea of India must be opposed to what is happening right now in the educational sector, in the cultural sector they must be committed to some values. Simply taking an anti-BJP stance is not going to help. They must have the courage to speak about institutional autonomy, whether it is eroded by Congress or by the left. Left's record was terrible about institutional autonomy. They must have the courage to speak about Congress, about the left and about the BJP. Those who want to talk about cultural, uh, cultural, saffronization must be able to speak the language of Indian traditions, must be at least minimally literate in our, our cultural values, our languages and traditions, merely speaking English and then saying, oh, BJP is saffronizing, that's not going to get you anything at all. So I really think that much of the opposition to the BJP on these very serious matters is so shallow and so counterproductive that uh, it simply doesn't work.